Hey, everybody. This is Perch. Uh, we got a we got a viewer question here. Which what works best? Uh, this is a, a cool one, and it also hits on you know one of the, my favorite interviews. It says, "Hey, Perch. Hope you're doing well. I'm writing today because the interview with Sean Murphy really hit home for me. It hit home for a lot of people. That interview got tons and tons of views, and I think a lot of people really really high engagement. A lot of people, you know, you look at the average listen time, and it's like people that was a two hour interview. People stuck with it. It's a great conversation. Anyway." If you haven't listened to it yet, go check out the interviews. It's, it's a great one. Uh, so my question, though, and what I've been thinking about for a while, is what do I do? And when I say this, I mean in regard to work, what do I do? I'm a creative and have settled on a graphic novel kind of direction for what I'd like to do. But I but am aware that it's more of a passion project that I need to build and work on in it for the long run. In regard to work, though, would you say it's best to get a job within the field? or outside of it in a more stable environment. I find jobs that are unrelated to my interests feel like time wasted that could be better spent elsewhere, but the money may be good. On the other hand, a job within it all doesn't seem easy to acquire, and even if I do get one, will eat up all my time and drive that should be spent on other projects. I have a great work ethic, so I'm told, but I know that after a while, working those unrelated jobs seems pointless, and that's hard to maintain. I have a hard time with this, so I'd appreciate your opinion on the matter. Thanks for what you do. All right, great question. And and my opinion, I, I think I have a very, very firm opinion. Um, and it's, you know, get the get this get the job, get it outside of your field. Meaning uh, you, you know, you want to publish a graphic novel, you want to do that, you want to, you know, kind of grow that for the long term and do that. Get a stable job that is unrelated to it. And I say this for a variety of reasons, some practical, some legal, and, and here, here they all are. So first off, you're right, you know, something that's more stable with more pay is going to afford you more opportunity to do that passion project. You're going to have to hustle a little less. You're going to have a little bit more flexibility, spending money, time. I understand and I entirely agree that working something outside of your passion is tough. And mentally, it, it, it saps you and you do feel like, hey, I'm doing something with my life. And I totally, totally get that. It's definitely a factor. But the reality is, um, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're struggling to work inside the field, the field where you want to publish that, that graphic novel, you're going to have to work harder. And there's a, a high likelihood that you're going to become disillusioned through just trying to find a job in that industry that you'll wind up hating the project you're working on. It's better to do something unrelated. Then there's a legal reason. And I think this one is a, is a big one, which is, uh, if you work, if you if you have a, gra a comic book, a graphic novel in mind that you want to do, and you go get a job inside of comics, you are exposing yourself to a ton of possibilities of, uh, of, of you know somebody interfering with your comic. You you and and you know if if you take an idea that you learned somewhere along the way in in your in working in comics and use it in your comic, you know you 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 run the risk of uh, you know being sued. There's also the problem of you may have a great idea for a graphic novel and you're you're putting it together and then somebody comes along with a similar idea to you, but they are moving faster and now you have to radically change your own thing. There's the fact that several companies you know may block you from doing your own book. So you work for you know you can work for Marvel and you work on this on the side. Um, you know you, you depending on what your job is at Marvel, you may not be able to release your comic. You may also run into things that you were. Uh, basically accusations that you uh, utilized your time at the company to, you know, give yourself a boost unfairly. I mean, there's just, it, it, there's, it's fraught with a lot of chaos and I wouldn't, I just wouldn't deal with it. I think that the right answer is go get a nice stable job. It, you know, if you, if you're able to do it and you can get one, um, you know, work there. Uh, you know, try and make sure you're reserving some time, figure out that work-life balance, which is elusive. Definitely, I've never been able to figure it out, but get that work-life balance and make sure that you're giving yourself lots of breathing room, headspace, time for your comic. And then the other thing you could do, not like you want even more work, but every now and then you can dip into the creative field. So make some contacts. Maybe you could do a cover every once in a while for someone if you're an artist, or maybe you could do, you know, pick up an editing job with one of the indie comics. Every now and then you're also feeding both your understanding of the industry and getting little gigs every now and then that you know tip into your passion, but you're not so committed to it that it's it could impact your own project. That's what I would do. Um, I you know I think that 
it, it, there's a there's an argument that says if you really want to succeed somewhere, you know, go full immersion. You know, just just jump in and do it and and go for it. Uh, and if that's that's the case, you know, I, I it, some that works for some people. For some people, they need that. I, I guess the question I'd have for you is if you have a job that has nothing to do with comics, what happens after a couple months? Do you notice that you aren't working on your comic? Are you do you need that extra push of being inside the industry to actually, you know, get the work done? Like what, what it's, it's a lot about your own discipline, but the people who I've, who've been in your shoes and have done it best have very consistently been people who, you know, work outside the industry, do a good job of gaining off their time. Like I'm going to devote two hours every day to my passion project. And that's, that's a discipline. It's like, it's like going to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym every night. You don't, you, some nights you don't want to go to the gym, but you do it anyway, because that's the promise you made to yourself. And that's the commitment you're doing. And you know, the only way you're going to get in great shape is by sticking it out, going to that gym. And so if you put in your head, kind of the idea of, look, whether I want to or not, whether I'm tired or not, no matter what happens, my commitment to myself and to my passion project, to my graphic novel, my commitment is I'm going to work on it every single day. And some days I won't feel like it, but I'm going to, I'm going to push, I'm going to gut through it. And if I do that, you know, I'm going to always have a tether to that project. And then I think that that concern you brought up of, you know, being in a job and, and worrying that you're just kind of wasting time because you're not doing something you love, you'll find that that, that concern diminishes. You'll find that you're thinking about it less. When your job is tough and, you know, you're just not really in the mood for it, you'll have something to look forward to. It's like, yeah, I'm not real happy right now, but man, tonight I'm going to get that two hours and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to work on my graphic novel and that's going to be... That's going to be something that's going to carry me through. I think that kind of stuff is, is what you need. And so that's what I would do. I, I think I, I've, I've met too many people that say, you know what, I'm going to fully commit and I'm going to go into comics. What happens is they have a job, it's paid less. They're, because it's paid less, they don't really make in meat. So they, they now have a new stress in their life. They wind up never working on their own project because they're just they're too busy trying to do this other shit. And just, they never... They're never, never able to do it. And so it's it's worse. I, I That's a story I see play out over and over again. Now, the exception proves the rule. There are definitely some people that would work for, but, but at least what I've seen most successful is people who take the stable job. Yeah, it's a boring office job sometimes. Who knows? But, you know, the pay is good. The headspace is good. They commit to their, their craft and their hobby. And uh, it, you know, it works out. That's what I've seen work better. So you got to figure out what's, what's best for you, what works for you. But that, that would be my advice. Anyway, it, so uh, what would you, you have listeners who are listening to this right now, what would you do? What's your, what's your thought? What's your opinion? What would you advise uh, this person to do? And if, have you been in a situation, what would that look like? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.